Hi, I'm Jeff Ryan. I'm an architect here in Tacoma, and I'm representing the uh, friends at Tacoma's Cushman Substation. Cushman Substation is part of the Potlatch Power System, uh, Cushman Dam out on Hood's Canal. This is the western end of the system. It was built in 1925, finished in 1926. This was a vote of the people, voted two to one to fund the $4 million bond at the time to build a dam, 44 miles of power lines, including the lines across the Narrows, and this building, and the little substations that went along with it, little transformer houses. The building was built by hand by guys with wheelbarrows and pushing concrete into a small elevator and out on planks and poured it continuously from bottom to top. It was an interesting process of construction. You wouldn't see that today. It's called board form construction, built by dam builders. So this building is more reinforced than any building I've worked on of its age. It was also built to house the 50-ton crane that's still operational in the building. So the building itself was built to carry that 50-ton load the full length of the building to pick up transformers and at that time the condensers from one end of the building to the other. My name is Mary Darland Guilford. My father was Alvin Darland and he was involved in building Cushman 1 and Cushman 2 power plants and this substation. So just wanted to share some little Tacoma history with you. Thank you. Now what we're hoping to do starting with some of these events is to get public awareness. We'd like to have a nice streamlined process where when they move out, we move in. And what we would like to see is this building be used for the public, public venues such as a community center focusing on the arts and seniors and preschools. Kids stand in this part of town does not have a community center, really does not have an accessible park. In this case, we'd like to have a park that is both English garden style park and a sculptural garden. We'd like to work on things inside, maybe have a cafe that would also be a vendor for the events in the building, maybe weddings, concerts, small concerts. We're talking uh, University of Puget Sound is very much interested in having quartets play in the building because of its volume. We could have other activities like classes, cooking classes, yoga classes. We've had the Tacoma Historical Society interested in being part of the building, maybe having their facilities in the basement. This building actually has a 15 foot tall basement in it that uh, was built, uh, changed into a uh, bomb shelter during the Cuban Missile Crisis. So we have a very stout basement we can put the facilities in. We would like to have anybody who's interested in this building contact us and get involved with the city. They're going to be having a series of workshops. Make your voice known. Push for a public option for this building. Or if you want something else, let us know. We really would like to have the public have a broad impact on this facility and its future.